Hey guys, so what is up? Red Pen Running here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about my networking setup for my crypto mining studio here, as well as my basement where I have all of the mining rigs and ASICs and everything out there. So I plan on doing an insane networking setup here and I wanna go through and explain everything that I wanna do in this video. And I wanna mention that I'm probably gonna have multi, multi-part videos talking about my networking because there is literally so much to set up. And I have so many plans, you know, I wanna do virtualization, I wanna do configuring firewalls, PFSense, I wanna do VLANing, I wanna do subnetting, I'm gonna do multiple DHCPs and firewall rules. Just, you know, network segregation and also do logging as well and monitoring for you know, all of the network ports and stuff. So I'm probably gonna be using something called Cacti. And essentially what that does is monitors the smart switches here and the network traffic going from each of the ports and a bunch of other stuff. I'll explain all that later, but it's gonna go through the SNMP protocol. Okay, so I have a lot of stuff that I wanna go through and talk about with you guys. But let me explain first my situation of how I'm gonna get the internet here in my crypto mining studio first. And then I will talk about a cable that goes all all the way to my mining rigs out there uh, which I'll talk about in a sec. So I have a like an outdoor cable here it's about 60 or 75 foot it's a cat 7 cable essentially I need to run it through that little hole right there but that goes into like a basement attic all right so that's probably gonna go into my 10 gigabit network switch I do not have my pfSense firewall yet That'll be in another video down the road, but you know, just for now to get my internet working, I'll just have it plugged into either one of these switches just to get it going for now. But I will have another video explaining, you know, setting up my PFSense server and it'll have a bunch of network adapters and we'll do a lot of configuration and stuff in another video. So stay tuned for that. So I have a Netgear 10 gigabit network switch here and I'm planning on doing some, you know, having my virtualization servers on here, whether I'm gonna be using VMware or Hyper V, one of those two. I'm not sure which software I'm going to use yet. Some people say to use Unraid, but I really don't like Unraid. And I'm also planning to have my PC where I do my work and stuff to go into the 10 gigabit network switch as well. So yeah, that'll be a little bit later. And then I have this HP switch here. It's a 2520G. It's a 24 port. It's PoE enabled and it's a gigabit switch, but I'm probably not going to be using the PoE. And what I'm going to be using this for is just for stuff that doesn't need 10 gigabit. And I'm probably going to use that for, you know, just stuff where I, when I have more tables, you know, my other mining stuff, testing rigs that I'm going to have over here once I get more tables and uh, maybe a security system, all that kind of stuff. And of course, I will do VLANing on this switch as well, probably the 10 gigabit as well. So let me explain the VLANing part a bit. So some people might not know what what VLANing is. So the full like word for VLAN means virtual local area network. So basically what VLANing does is isolates network traffic within a subnet. So say you have like security cameras and then you have mining rigs and then you have your personal computer or something. Say you don't want those devices to talk to each other, then you would want a VLAN. Then there wouldn't be any crosstalk, there wouldn't be any broadcasting, there wouldn't be any multicasting between those devices. So for security reasons, it's the best thing in, in network networking topology, networking jargon to have VLANs on your network to segregate different stuff around your network. So that's what I want to do. I'm going to be segregating my little network here. I'm going to have a security system that's going to be on a separate network as well. And I'm planning on having my mining rigs on a totally different VLAN as well. And I'm planning on having my ASICs on another VLAN as well. So I really want to segregate all this stuff and I want to essentially monitor and you know see where all the traffic is going. Like I said, I'm gonna have multi, multi-part videos setting that all up and I really wanna get down to the nitty gritty of setting up my network here and explaining everything for you guys. If you think that's interesting, please let me know down below. Okay, so now I wanna talk about the other network cable that I have right here, which I just ran before making this video and it's just this style like really thin network cable you guys can see and I have some like cable clips here that I ran on the ceiling uh, you guys can see here these little tiny clips and I essentially just ran it up the wall and it goes all the way across my mining studio here and out into the crypto mining basement here where I have all my rigs 
I know it doesn't look that great, but it's the best I can do for now. Space goats, if you're watching me, you're probably gonna mention to like drill some holes through the wall or something. Guys, I'm not gonna drill anything. This is just temporary, you know. I may have to remove all this in the near future. So I'm just doing this for now. And it goes on top of my mining rig shelves. And I just have it running uh, right here. I have a lot of extra cabling here. But yeah, I'm not sure where I'm gonna have the other 24 port network switch, but that'll be for another video. I need to order some longer network cables to essentially have my five mining rigs here as well as my other mining rigs on this shelf. So I'll talk about that in an another time. But you guys can see, I initially have my networking set up with an eight port gigabit network switch. And that also goes into another five port gigabit network switch right over here, as you guys can see. And right now I'm running my internet through power line adapters. And really power line adapters are fine for most people. But for me, I'm actually having an issue with the internet where some of my ASICs, especially the Z15, cuts out for some reason. And I have been having some latency issues. So the power line adapter, which this cable right here is feeding the internet for all of my mining rigs right now. All right, so that cable is going into the eight port switch. And then I have another cable that daisy chained all the way to the other five port network switch there. And it's just a terrible setup. Like it's in networking terms, it's it's pretty blasphemous. It's, it's pretty sacrilegious to have that kind of this kind of setup. Pretty janky in my opinion. So I want to do everything much better. Everything is going to be hard line straight from the router and I'm going to have smart switches and I'm going to have monitoring and logging and all that kind of stuff like I mentioned before. So yeah, that's what I have currently with that cable and essentially that cable is going to be plugged into one of these ports here, which I am going to VLAN because I mentioned that I want to VLAN my GPU mining rigs and my ASICs on different DHCPs, different subnets so that I can monitor the traffic between you know different ASICs and stuff and my mining rigs. I just don't want them to talk to each other because who knows if you know one of my mining rigs decides to multicast or flood the network or something. That's another thing. VLANing saves you from flooding the network. So say one of your mining rigs or computers or whatever started to you know, have a bad network cable or a bad network port or something. So VLANing will stop the multicasting that's going out of the network port or the computer or whatever and won't just shut down the internet or network traffic for all of for that for that whole subnet, okay? All right, so that is basically it. I probably missed a few things, but you know, as I go along and make my networking part videos, which I said there's going to be many many networking part videos. It's going to be a fun one for sure, you know, talking about PF sense and routing and uh, DHCP, VLANing, SNMP, and you know, usually all these kind of devices, smart devices, have SNMP. So you enable SNMP, and then we can have like a virtual machine using a software called Cacti, all right? So it's like a Linux-based software, and basically what Cacti does, it will pull all of the like information, you know, such as network traffic, temperature, and some other statistics and metrics, all into one essential GUI. So I'm gonna see all my networking devices is all in one page web GUI and then I can see all the network traffic that's coming out of any of these ports specifically so I will have a video talking about cacti setting that up on a virtual machine and then we'll connect all these switches together that's gonna be a lot of fun I love cacti I have a lot of experience with that and cacti is an open source software that anyone can download and use okay guys I realized I think this video is a little bit longer than it should because explaining you know getting all this stuff up oh and I have a ubiquity access point which will be on another VLAN as well. I want to have my wireless devices totally separate from my LAN devices so that'll be really good as well. Anyways I just realized I didn't run the network cable so I'm probably going to do that in part two and uh, I have to order a server rack of some sort or a switch appliance rack of some sort. I have so much to do so little time and anyways guys I'll let you know in the next episode. Please let me know what you think of my networking setup. If there's anything else you want me to talk about further, please let me know down below. And like I said, I will have multi-part videos of my networking setup, okay? So thank you guys for watching. Please let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.